so it's been a while since I did a video update and I figured I'm kind of due to do one because there's so many things happening right now and I probably should update everyone. Plus, I've had a lot of people recently reach out to me saying that my videos help them and they're newly diagnosed and blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, you know what? Obviously the ones that I did do in the past helped someone somewhere. So let's keep at it. So it is September 13th, 2021 which marks almost a year since my diagnosis. Um, tomorrow will be the day that I got my second biopsy done on my lymph nodes. So the first biopsy that I got done was just with needles. Um, they took samples from all around because there was a couple of swollen lymph nodes and the results came back as inconclusive. Now, over the past year, I've heard that it's very common that that biopsy gives you the inconclusive results. So my doctor's like, it's good news. We didn't find cancer cells. However, we didn't find any, we didn't get any answers. So therefore we need to do it again. And I remember at that point, they offered me to either do the needles again and to try to, because it's less invasive and to try to get cancer cells, I guess that way, or they can actually cut and get tissue sample. Um, but obviously that will leave you a mark, a scar. I'm not sure if you can see my scar. My scar is like non-existent. So I was like, go ahead, um, cut me open. Let's get answers faster, sooner rather than later. So that's what we did. So I will show you a video at the end of this one that was taken, I guess like this day last year of um, me when I was finished my biopsy and I took two days off of work. First day was because I actually get, had to get the procedure done. And it actually took a lot longer than I thought. I kind of thought it would be like, snip, crap, go. But it, it, would, it did take quite a bit longer than I expected. I felt like I was at the hospital for like two hours and then my mom picked me up. And yeah, then, so I got it done on a Monday and then I got my diagnosis on that Friday. So that's just to give you a kind of time an overview of the time that it took to get my diagnosis. Now, that being said, I was diagnosed on September 18th. So that date is also coming up um, soon too. So all this being said, I'm having like these weird <laughs> flashbacks, I guess you could call them, because school, it's back to school here as well. So last year, my month of August, and historically this has always been the case, but in August, I spend a ton of time setting up my classroom. I pour in a lot of time and energy, just planning the year as much as I can. If you know me, you know I'm like a huge um, planner, overachiever. So I like to be well prepared. So I did that last year, kind of had this little voice in my head that something wasn't right because I remember getting hot flashes like while setting up my classroom. My neck was all swollen. I was like trying to put bulletin boards up. I'm like, oh, something's wrong. And anyways, I taught seven days total and then was told you need to self-isolate because of COVID and you're starting chemo treatment shortly. So you're not teaching. So that was discouraging because I poured so many hours into my great, my first year ever teaching grade five and I was all ready to go and I was all excited. And then I was told I couldn't. So this year has been a little bit strange because I'm doing the same thing all over again. <laughs> I'm like setting up my classroom, I'm like planning my year out and I'm like, mm, this year better land. So I just need to kind of get over the first hump, I think. That being said, I'm only teaching two days a week right now. So I'll be teaching on Tuesdays and Thursdays up until January. And then in January, we reevaluate at which point the plan as of now is to go to three days and then after March break, full time. So I'm kind of doing an ease in approach, ease in back to school. So I'm not working full time. That being said, on the days that I'm not teaching, I'm continuing just to paint away my little heart out um, because I have an art show, an exhibit coming up at the McLaren Art Center. Um, that's like a month long and I've got a full room that I'm going to be filling with my artwork. So cancer is a horrible journey. However, it did give me the opportunity to progress my art business. And for that, I am forever grateful because <laughs> not many people my age can say that they had a year off work and they got to work on their side hustle, their hobby, right? For a full year. So there you have it. I will show you that video from my biopsy and I hope you all have a wonderful day. So I got the second biopsy done today. So they 
cut it they froze the area then they cut and they like covered kind of my face and I had to look this way and they put my shoulder up a little bit snip 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 I guess but it took like he was like at it for an hour and then I guess he took two tissue samples I couldn't really see but I was trying to like look they look like this big and he put it in a thing and then he took another one put it in a thing and then he stitched it back up so the stitches should dissolve in a week he said and I just have to put some polysporin on twice a day and then wait seven to ten days but it's pretty sore because I think the freezing is wearing off so it's sore <laughs> So I got the second biopsy done today. So they cut it, they froze the area. Then they cut and they like covered kind of my face and I had to look this way and they put my shoulder up a little bit. Snip, 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 I guess. But it took like, he was like at it for an hour. And then I guess he took two tissue samples. I couldn't really see, but I was trying to like look. They look like this big. And he put it in a thing, and then he took another one, put it in a thing, and then he stitched it back up, so the stitches should dissolve in a week, he said. And I just have to put some polysporin on twice a day, and then wait seven to ten days. But it's pretty sore, because I think the freezing is wearing off, so it's sore.